Ukraine forces retaking the Donetsk airport in another day of deadly violence in Ukraine. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Sarah Murray. Rebel forces taking over the airport early Monday, sparking a bloody battle as government forces successfully regained control of the building. Dozens of pro-Russian separatists are dead and gunfire and explosions continue in that area today. It's the first time heavy fighting in eastern Ukraine is spilling over to the capital city. At least some hopeful signs, though. Ukraine elected a new president this weekend, pro-Europe chocolate baron Petro Poroshenko. Since then, the standoff between Ukraine, its Western allies, and Russia shows some signs of thawing. Drug maker Pfizer dropping its bid for British rival AstraZeneca over the weekend. Pfizer has been courting AstraZeneca since November in a bid to create the world's largest pharmaceutical company. But AstraZeneca ran out the clock under the UK's rules for takeover agreements. Both companies face aging pipelines and market pressures and could face a daunting road in their decision to go it alone. Women taking to Twitter this weekend to launch a conversation about violence and male behavior after a shooting rampage in California left seven people, including the alleged gunman, dead. The gunman said the attacks were retribution against women who had rejected him. Within hours, one woman's tweet about what it's like to feel vulnerable to violence quickly gained momentum, inspiring hundreds of thousands of tweets this weekend. Men quickly began posting their own responses under the hashtag NotAllMen. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day on What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Sarah Murray.